Cool. And then, uh, CJ, your prompt is uh, dog. <laughs> dog. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. I I heard some. I've been watching this whole like press tour of those of Ryan Reynolds and Hugh going around mm-hmm. town. They've been on every talk show imaginable. I saw these them movies. on Hot Ones. Yeah. Uh, and I found out the scene where Dogpool is like licking Ryan Reynolds' face. They used like salmon paste to get it, which sounds disgusting. Wow. Hold on one second. Hey, welcome to the Over Talking Podcast with your hosts, Ken and CJ. Say hi, CJ. Oh, I might. That's May Hugh Jackman. Oh, How you going? And I'm uh, Ryan Reynolds. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, this is the show where we talk over TV shows and movies. Uh, typically, it's chosen by our guests, but it's just the boys this week. And the boys, separately, but have the same mind. We both went to see the same movie. And we saw uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Maximum effort. Hey, bub. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, to be clear, we're going to be spoiling stuff. But the most we're going to probably spoil is, like, cameos we'll talk about a couple of the gags we're not going to spoil everything and we're not going to do it at the top so if you want to listen along for a little bit it's okay we'll let you know right before we spoil something major Um, yeah you can either skip ahead or 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 whatnot and i think that's that's like even if i knew the plot i think i'd be fine (laughs) like it's not like this there's no there's no big twists or turns or anything kind of thing i I think it's fine even if you had the plot spoiled like You've seen the trailer. Yeah. It's really just a vehicle to put Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds in a movie together and bring back Wolverine. And that's that's really it. Yeah. I guess the biggest spoiler is that Wolverine's in it. But, you know, <laughs> it's in the title. And I think everyone knows that Hugh Jackman's in this movie. So yes. I think that's okay. So, yeah. I think it's going to be a good time. What was your viewing experience like? I, I have to assume you went with Meg. Yes. Uh, we went to a 10 a.m. IMAX showing. Hell yeah. Sunday. I went to a noon Sunday showing because yes. that was the earliest that they had. Yes. Yeah. I don't want a bunch of people there. Although there was a decent number of people for 10 a.m. But yeah, it, 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 it's too new. I was very afraid to go later on because there's going to be assholes in the theater. Yeah. If I had to estimate maybe eight other people in my theater, which okay. was perfect. That's exactly yeah, what I want. Maybe 10 other people in my theater for 10 a.m. was kind of crazy. But yeah, yeah. it's... It's a huge movie, so that makes sense. It was a nice. It was a nice Sunday. Woke up, still mm-hmm. had my coffee at home, had a little morning routine, and then walked over to the movies, nice. and basically ate popcorn for lunch. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, we, we just ate breakfast and then went over, and then by the time it was out, we're like, "All right, let's get Portillos for lunch." It's all let's start our day. Hell yeah, perfect, perfect. Sunday. I regretted not ordering a large popcorn. They only have Ooh. small and large, and I devoured the small. I was like, I should have. Small's too the small. Popcorn. You need the large. What theater is it? Is they to? don't have mediums at the uh, Landmark. Okay. Yeah, the one that feels like it's in like a mini mall kind of thing. Gotcha, gotcha. No mediums, and the small is too small, but a large is huge. Do you get free refills with the large? Probably, but I've n- I've never once done that. How much more is the have large? Have you? No, I've never done that. I don't want to leave the theater. I don't know. I don't remember it. It's probably only a couple bucks, but yeah, this whole like, oh, well, you get free refills. Who's leaving the movie to go get a free I refill? I have seen people do it, and it's. I'm always like, what the fuck? Like, how did you possibly? You're going to miss the movie. I guess if you like get a large popcorn for like your whole family or something, maybe that makes sense. And you're like, going to see a kid's yeah. movie and you don't give a shit about the plot or anything. <laughs> Missing. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Or for if for some reason you're like, all right, well, I'm going to get a free refill to go. I'm going to take oh, this popcorn yeah, yeah. with me, put it in my car, and take it home with me, and we're going to eat it right. later. Or maybe you're doing a double feature, and uh, you're going to see a second movie. Yeah. Free extra popcorn. I think my dad actually has done that, has like brought home popcorn from a movie when we were kids. I don't, I don't understand that, though, because like, you've just been eating popcorn all day. You're not going to mm-hmm. want more stale popcorn yes, I am. later on, are no, you? No, I am. That popcorn yeah. like turns bad pretty quick, I think. Nah. Same day, you're you fine. Think so? Yeah. I could see, I guess, if you went to a movie and then like you had kids at home and then you brought them some popcorn. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I think popcorn, like, I I'll have it again later in the day and be absolutely fine. I'm I'm never popcorned out, I don't think. God, I do. I get popcorn out. But I put like the the oil butter fakeness yeah, I don't on do it that. i feel awful after yeah. i eat it it's like i can feel my arteries constricting 
it's bad, but it tastes so good. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? There's trade offs. Yeah. Life life length trade offs. Um mm-hmm. look, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick break, regroup, and we'll be right back to talk about Deadpool and Wolverine. Chink chink. That's my claws coming out. Now on the over talking podcast. Snicked, snicked. Snick, snicked? Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. S N I K T. That's what they say in the comics. Snick, yep. snick. I don't know. I think shink shink fits better. No. We'll be right back. I'm going to go grab some popcorn. <laughs> I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Come again. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. All right, and we're back on the Over Talking Podcast. Just the boys, we're talking about Deadpool and Wolverine, and we're going to do a quick spoiler-free summary of the movie. So this is just very high-level plot points that aren't going to spoil anything, I promise. 30 seconds on the clock, ready, go. Okay, Deadpool, it's it's after uh, the... (laughs) Oh my god! I th- this is a little difficult, but it's there's a large time jump between Deadpool two and this movie. Deadpool is very aware that Fox has sold off the rights of his properties to you have ten seconds left. Oh already. my god! To Marvel, he wants to get into the Avengers. He's turned down because, of course, five. Uh, wow, <laughs> I haven't even got to Wolverine, but Wolverine shows up at some two, point. Two, one. <laughs> I, I was talking during the break. I was like, I don't think I can spoil it because, like. The plot doesn't fucking matter. Like the there yeah. is there is a plot, but the the TVA shows up from the Loki series. Yeah. Um, who are the the time variance authority? That's in the trailer, so that's not a spoiler. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, I guess I can say Wolver. Or, sorry, Deadpool's timeline is dying because the anchor character uh, in his timeline has died, aka Logan, because mm-hmm. he dies in Logan. And spoiler for Logan, another oh, movie kidding. that the whole point of the movie is that he he dies at the end of it. Uh, also, if, if you've not seen any of these movies, go watch Logan. That, oh my God. that one I think is like that one's one of the best. Very good, yeah. But also, everyone knew that Logan dies in that movie, so that it's yeah, not a spoiler. You're good to go. But yeah, so Deadpool goes around a different universe, is looking to replace that anchor character uh, with another Wolverine, and he finds one, and. I don't know, they they just go on multiverse shenanigans together. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, and it's jam packed with cameos, and they're trying to save their timeline. Right, that's all yeah. there is. It takes that's place the within the actual Marvel universe this time, but there's a ton of cameos from people that may have been acquired by Fox, probably so, <laughs> or by Marvel from Fox. So many cameos. Yeah, and we will get to it, but we're gonna save it just a little bit longer. Uh, but how, how'd I do? I mean, like, I didn't want to spoil anything, so I didn't, I didn't go too deep. Yeah, no, I think, I think that that about sums it up. Again, right. like, it's it's not a super complicated plot. Like, it's it literally is an excuse for them to shove a bunch of cameos and multiverse stuff in because it's the MCU. So there you go. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, look, I feel like I didn't go too far, and I want to defend myself if you feel like that's a spoiler because it's not. I promise you. But yeah, I feel like I did an okay job, and that's probably because I've been drinking Magic Mind, Siege. Ken, you did an excellent job, and it's definitely because of Magic Mind. That's right, yeah. Uh, for new listeners, uh, this is a, what would you call it, a, a, a little energy shot? I would call it a mental performance shot. Yeah. CJ and I have been drinking this for, at this point, what has it been, 45 days straight? Like a super long time we've been drinking this, um, and it's it's, yeah, just a little tiny bottle. It's got some great tasting liquid in it. Uh, it's got matcha. It's got a whole bunch of other things like nootropics in it uh, to help enhance your mind. Adaptogens, lion's mane, turmeric, matcha, all the good stuff. Yeah. I've been drinking this in addition to my coffee to have a little extra kick, and it's been helping keep me focused throughout the day. Yeah, same here. I still have my regular cup of joe mm-hmm. and then take this immediately after. Uh, helps you get focused, helps start your day. Absolutely. And our listeners, we currently have a 20% off discount code available for everyone. It even works for people who did the trial before. Uh, so existing subscribers, everyone, it, it should work for uh, anyone who's already been trying Magic Mind. 
So they get 20% off uh, both a one-time purchase and up to 48% off if they choose a subscription. And that code is OVERTALKINGPOD20. That's OVERTALKING, P-O-D-2-0, over at magicmind.com slash OVERTALKINGPOD20. Or the link is in the show notes. Go check it out. It's very tasty. But you know who else has got a taste for something? It's Deadpool, and it's a taste, taste for, for vengeance. Blood. Oh, okay. That too, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, like, we, we can kind of maybe start at the beginning and maybe we'll get more spoilery as we go because we we want to talk about it, so deal with it. But, yeah, they, they, he, gets a, he gets a Wolverine who is uh, from an alternate timeline mm-hmm. who is dealing with struggles that honestly don't factor in at all. But before They never gets, really tell us either. <laughs> they, they do. And I, I guess this is a spoiler, but not really. But, like... The rest of the X Men were attacked and killed because Wolverine wasn't there to save him because he was out getting drunk. Like that's it. It wasn't anything important. Yeah, the entire time I thought like it, it felt like they were implying that his entire like world blew up or there was like a uh, you know massive murders or something like that. I I thought it was like the entire country or something went to shit because of something he did. Like he didn't stop an evil plan or something and then you find out it's like oh the x-men died yeah i think they just killed a bunch of mutants but they can't kill him because he's wolverine so he was just sad and drinking and as you've seen on all of the posters and the trailers and stuff he's in like classic 90s x-men uniform yeah from this universe he actually decided to wear the correct uniform and uh it's pretty badass deadpool goes on a trip through, like you said, through the different multiverses to try to find a Wolverine mm-hmm. that he can is compatible with, essentially. Did you, uh, as uh, I have been reading all of the comics, I caught yes. basically all of those. <laughs> I caught one only. I, I caught the uh, Patch. 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 He, in at least one of the more recent comics from the series that I've been reading, he puts on an eye patch and and goes undercover uh, wearing a white suit to, I think, a poker room or something like that. In, I don't know. In Madripoor. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so I caught that. And then I, I also saw kind of a, a side-by-side of, of a lot of the other ones for, like, the cover art for, for mm-hmm. several other issues. Um, so that was that was pretty cool. It's like Weapon X-Men, he's called. Hmm. Age of Apocalypse Wolverine. Yeah, I liked I liked Patch. It's like his, his version of like James Bond kind of, yeah. <laughs> like in a suit at a casino. And I like that. That's his version of like undercover. It's like yeah, right. <laughs> you change one Wolverine. minor thing. Yeah, <laughs> but okay. Same yeah. hairstyle, same voice, <laughs> same everything else. Just a white suit and an eye patch. Yeah. Yep. Call it a day. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a fun sequence. Uh, we also got uh, in one of the multiverses. You get. Henry Veen or something like that. Henry Cavill, aka Superman. Yeah, it was it was rumored for a long time that he was going to be taking over as Wolverine in the Marvel Universe, and I don't think that's actually happening. But no. they they threw that in there as kind of a a joke that that was something that could have happened. I yeah. I also Cavill. read. I don't know if this is true or not, but I read that Ryan Reynolds made. Henry Cavill shave off his existing facial hair for the scene so that they could put on CGI sideburns <laughs> as like another nod to him ha- shaving or like having a CGI non mustache in uh, whenever he was playing Superman. And, and I think Justice League, they did that. Nice. Yeah. That's really funny. I, I want to back up a little bit if that's okay. Yeah. So th- this is canonical to. Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. And actually, the mm-hmm. night before we went to see this, Meg and I rewatched Deadpool 2. And we were very glad we did because, at least for the beginning part of the movie, it's explaining like what Deadpool's been up to since that movie. And it's honestly not a lot, but there's a lot of characters from Deadpool 2 that are in his life. And this is a little bit of a spoiler for Deadpool 2, but not really. But his girlfriend is killed in that movie? Like that's the biggest plot point, and the beginning of the movie is his girlfriend's killed, and he's like suicidal basically for the rest of the movie. And in this movie, his girlfriend's alive, and I had forgot that there was a post credit scene in Deadpool two where he like is dicking around with Cable's time machine basically, 
and he saves her in like a very throwaway scene. And so I was like, oh, how is she alive? And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess if that whole post credit scene happened, then I guess that's why she's there. But man, it you got to do some mental gymnastics here with, with the, these continuities and timelines. It's kind of wild. Yeah. I, well, I thought too, because it's like the universe that this movie is taking place in isn't Earth 616, isn't like the universe we're accustomed to. It says well, like Earth 1000 something. Right. Well, that's Deadpool's universe. That's Deadpool's Earth. Got so it. So yeah. that either way, it's where the events of Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2. And I assume all of the uh, X-Men stuff happened. Yeah. I think that is when they show up in uh, one of the other MCU movies, when we get a glimpse of like the Illuminati where Charles Xavier comes in, Reed Richards. Hmm. That's all in some other not 616 universe. Yeah. Well, that might be even a different one because the Reed Richards in that one is someone new effectively it was uh the office guy with him yeah yeah but yeah i don't know it's it's too it is stupid and confusing but <laughs> to your point he did go to earth 616 which is the main mcu earth uh yeah. to try to vie for uh to get on the avengers and there was a funny little scene where he's talking to the chef guy no not from the bear but yes yeah, chef who what's his name what chef guy? He was in, he was in the movie Chef. Oh, it's Happy Hogan is the character. Yeah, yeah John yeah. Favreau. Thank you, John Favreau. He's the talking to him and he's guy. like, "Hey, when, when am I going to see the the big guy?" And did you know who he was referring to? Because he event he says his name, but Meg was a little confused. Either Iron Man or Hulk, right? Well, I was I thought he and he said Kevin at one point. I I think he was talking about Kevin Feige, the the like, yeah head probably of Marvel. yeah. yeah. Uh, Again, breaking the the fourth wall and confusing it a little bit. It, it, it's kind of convoluted, but I assumed uh, Iron Man was dead at that point, right? So yeah, that's true. I think the events have taken place after right. that. Okay, so yeah, I think it was a weird little nod to Kevin Feige's uh, corporate structure. I don't know. Anyway, um, that was a funny little joke. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's this movie is chock full of. So many fourth wall breaking. Yeah. Also, speaking of that, isn't Robert Downey Jr. now going to play Dr. Doom yes. in the new Fantastic Four? Yeah. That's correct. Yep. thought that was very interesting. Yeah. I I don't understand. I, I thought he left because he didn't want to be in the Marvel Universe anymore, or maybe he just didn't want to be Iron Man anymore. I, I don't Yeah, maybe he's just done with that character. Same with Hugh Jackman and Wolverine. He's like, yeah. Yeah. I'm done. And I, part of me would be like, well, wouldn't they know that that isn't that like, oh, that's clearly Iron Man. Like what? But then also the other part of me is like, well, they've replaced characters previously. Like the Hulk was uh, like three different people, <laughs> a couple different people. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're actors. None of this matters. No, Deadpool <laughs> will probably make a comment on it in whatever movie he's in next. But that's probably it. Yeah. It's strange. I'm I'm like ready for Marvel to break my heart with the new Fantastic Four movie. I feel, mm -hmm. I feel like we have yet to get like a good one. And it's, there's such an iconic group of characters, especially Dr. Doom is like one of my favorite villains in this whole MCU. And the other ones sucked. I didn't even see the, the latest one or maybe even the one before that too. Cause yeah, I, I heard they're just awful. Yeah. And they ruined, they had the Silver Surfer in one of them, which again, one of the coolest characters in the MCU, yeah. and they did not do it justice. It uh, was bad. Had nothing to do with Galactus, I don't think. Like, didn't use him properly. I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel like they're at least going to take more care with this one, especially if Robert Downey Jr. is in it. But also, I feel like that means that at least 50% of the budget is going to him. So, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Probably watch it on a Sunday at noon again by myself. Yeah, that one I might wait till it comes out on home video. No, I still haven't seen that. Hitman in Quantum Mania. I still need to see that one. Oh, yeah. That that showed up in at one point. They go to the Void, which is a place that was in Loki season one. 
and mm. probably two. I haven't seen season two yet either. Man, I'm behind. What? I don't know if any of this matters or not, but what what did I miss out on? Like in this movie from not having seen Loki season two and not having seen Ant Man Quantumania. I know there's a big Ant Man. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't think see, I don't think season two plays into this that much. Okay. I think having seen Loki definitely helps because then you get the TVA's whole thing. Yeah, having seen season one helped a lot, at least. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know that season two plays into this specifically that much okay. or at all, really. That's good. Was the big Ant-Man from Quantum Media? Nope. Okay. So, yeah, no consequences. <laughs> Great. Sounds good. <laughs> yep. All right. All good. All right, kids, put on your earmuffs. Do you want to do some trivia before Spoiler Country? Oh, yeah. That sounds good. I'm excited. All right. So this trivia was actually put together by my lovely wife, Emily. Thank you, Emily. I have not. I, I promise you I have not looked at the questions. And since she's very smart, she put the answers in white text. So I have to highlight them so that even I can see them. Hell yeah. This is awesome. All right. And I will be keeping score. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Question one. Who's cuter, Hugh Jackman or Ryan Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds. I'm going with Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman's hot. Ryan Reynolds is cute. I guess you're right. Ryan Reynolds, I would say, is more like beautiful, where Hugh Jackman... Is right Hugh Jackman, more like a huge jacked man. Am That's I right? That's exactly right. How, how the hell is this going to be... So is this just what Emily's opinion is? Like, I guess what? so. We'll find out. <laughs> okay. All right. Ready for the answer? Okay. Answer is Ryan Reynolds, be, but only because Hugh Jackman is handsome, not cute. Yeah. Okay. All right. I feel like I was on it. It's all right. You were, you were correct. Cool. All right. Question two. You can connect this film to the Fast and Furious franchise in zero degrees, meaning someone appears in this movie and the greatest franchise of all time. Who oh, is it? Crap. Wow. What? That. Z- I can do it in one degree. Zero degrees. What? It's got to be like... Oh, it's it, the, the, the big bad lady. Wasn't she in one of them? Really? The, the British bald lady. Cassandra Nova, yeah. a.k.a. Charles Xavier's sister. That's my guess. Put some respect in your mouth. She's also one of my favorite characters. She's great Yeah. Uh, in the comics. I think she... Uh, I'm probably confusing her with, with Cypher. I think that was someone else. That was at least their own. Yeah, yeah that was. Um, I think I'm stumped. I don't think I can even get like I'm struggling to think of one degree. I can get one degree. I'll talk about it in spoiler country, but Okay. All right. Well, yeah, what what's the answer? I guess not neither of us are getting this. Yeah. Oh, duh. I bet Steve would have gotten this, I bet. I remember him bringing it up on an episode. The answer is Ryan Reynolds. He's Agent Locke and Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, crap. I always forget that. Right. I was thinking, yeah, it's got to be something in Hobbs and Shaw, because we never think about Hobbs and Shaw. Yeah, There's a bunch of right. extra stuff in there. It's the forgotten child of the franchise. Yeah. Oh, man. I okay. forget. Cause, and he's also in that movie at the at the start and at the end, and like that's it right. for like five minutes total. Right. Very forgettable. Dang. Dang. Emily stumped okay. us. All right. Yeah. Okay, question three. Okay. Deadpool and Wolverine are queer icons, so there's a ton of erotic fan fiction where they get together. <laughs> I read one for this trivia. In the chapter I read, what is Deadpool's nickname for Wolverine? And this is multiple choice. Oh, boy. Okay. Is it A, Claw Daddy? (laughs) Is it B, wow, didn't even realize this. Is it B, Huge Jacked Man? (laughs) Didn't plan that. Is it C, Wolfie? Or is it D, Manly DeVito? It's not that one. I'm thinking either A or C. I'm going to go with, yeah, I was thinking A. What was A? I think Claw, Claw Daddy. Claw Daddy or, or C is Wolfie? Yeah. I'm going to go with Wolfie just to be different. Okay. The answer is C, Wolfie. Okay. Damn, Ken's kicking my butt. I don't know. I, I would have chosen A if you hadn't. So. All right. Huh. Another multiple choice. Okay. Which of the following facts about Wolverine is not true? A, Marvel developed him to appeal to the Canadian market. He is from Canada. B, he's five foot three inches tall. C, he is the largest land-based member of the M- Mustelid family, which includes badgers, otters, and weasels. Oh, 
So, like, talking about an actual Wolverine in that one, I assume? <laughs> okay. I guess. Uh, D, when his claws extend, they go snicked, and when they retract, they go snacked. That's an A, K, T. Snacked? Uh, <laughs> I have a guess. I think it's I think it's A, actually. Unless snacked is wrong. I, I I mean, I'm not sure about snacked. We already talked about snicked being. Yeah, a. I know snicked is true, but that, yeah, the snacked is what's throwing me off. Snacked. That can't, I, I don't know, man. What was A? A is that they developed it to appeal to the Canadian market. I don't think that's necessary. Can... That, that seems weird. Yeah, there are a lot of Wolverines in Canada or something. Maybe maybe that's valid. So maybe the, the twist is, yeah, snacked. Snacked does not seem right. Yeah, that's what I was going to lean towards, too. I don't think snacked is true. Yeah. So I was going to go with D. I'll, I'll hold your hand on that. I think it's also D. Okay. It is C, <laughs> the largest land-based member. I guess, yeah. Okay. That one probably, yeah, we probably should have known that. That he is not the largest land-based member of the Mustelid family, if I'm pronouncing that right. I think which the includes warden, badgers, otters, and weasels. Warden caught me off guard. Yeah, I guess it's he, right? So not wolverines in general. Okay. All right, none of it got. So, Ken, you're the winner with two, two to zero. Hey, all right. I'll take it. Those are pretty good. That Thank you, fun. Emily. Thank you, Emily. I never get to play. That was yeah. fun. All right, now it's spoiler country time. Yeehaw! 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 Uh, look, if you're about to tune out, go check out magicbehind.com slash overtalkingpod20 and uh, get 20% off uh, your one-time purchase or 48% off a subscription. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Cameo time. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. Who was your favorite? Who was spoiled to you ahead of time? First of all, the only I knew Sabretooth and then I just knew Cassandra Nova because she appeared on the guest shows with them to say like, oh. yes, I'm here to promote the movie. Here's the character I play, which that I'm like, oh, I, I'm, I was even bummed about that. I was like, oh, that would have been a great like if that hadn't got spoiled. If she shows up like, oh, holy shit. Oh, I mean, did, did you know who Cassandra Nova was ahead of time? I did not. Yes. OK. Maybe that's Comic why. books. Remember, I'm a nerd. I've read all of them. <laughs> I've, I've read. Does she come into play eventually? Yes, she must. Right? Okay. I don't. I haven't gotten her yet, so um, maybe that's why. I know. I forget. I'm like two or three years ahead of probably where you're, you're way at. ahead of me. I I've st- I stopped maybe a couple months ago, so I need what? to keep going. But Ken, yeah, I'm like right before the the first gala ball thing, whatever that is. Yeah, the Hellfire Gala. Hellfire Gala. Yeah, and there's two of those for some reason, but I'm. Right before the first one, so those are every year. They keep that up. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's fun. Anyway, yeah, I had Blade spoiled for me. Oh, God, I I read all of Bloody Disgusting's articles, which is a, a horror news website, and they they fucking like they, within the first sentence of this article, they're like Blade surprise reveal in Deadpool and Wolverine. I'm like, what the f- God damn it, man! That would have been so cool. But anyway, yeah. it was still cool to see literally blade uh in yes the movie. uh was he your favorite i know who yours is what but yours is gambit yeah <laughs> yeah you like gambit I know. but not <laughs> i do love gambit but not just gambit i really enjoyed channing tatum as gambit doing a real thick nolens yeah. down in the bayou cajun accent there yeah, yeah. that cajun sherry He's, he he felt a little too thick boy for me uh yeah i felt like he was he was really crammed into that outfit but yes uh, i do i did enjoy that though like some of his dialogue i think on purpose was not understandable no <laughs> he goes into like the new orleans accent and like, it's like that's a good bit i like that that's yeah very funny. interesting casting not who i would have picked for gambit but no, i thought it either. was kind of funny i i almost kind of hoped they had brought back the gambit from uh wolverine origins because Gambit was in that too, was he? Yeah, he was oh, played I don't by see, I don't uh, remember Tim Riggins from Friday Night Lights. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but I don't think he had quite all the same powers. I think he just used his staff. Maybe, maybe he threw cards around, but they didn't explode like they do. He, the screenshot I have is him throwing a card around. Is he throwing a card? Okay. Yeah, it's been a while. It's his whole thing. I again read something 
and I, I hope it's true, but that uh, Magic Mike's Gambit will be returning for some Avengers movie in the future. So <laughs> interesting. I hope so. I hope Gambit's back. I st- I don't I don't know that I like <laughs> like I feel like Jenny Tatum is like a good bit <laughs> for this movie. Yeah. I don't think he fits as like a serious Gambit. I agree. Yeah, you, you threw me off a little bit. I, I thought it was funny, and I thought it was cool that Gambit was in it at all. But yeah, he's he doesn't seem quite right. Yeah, I don't know. But yes, he was my favorite. That was a, nice. a funny because it the scene is like. Jennifer Gardner shows up as Electra. Mm-hmm. She like it's like three people walk into the room one after another, so that it's like big reveal, big reveal, big reveal. Mm-hmm. So it was funny. The rule of threes. It was like Electra. Oh whoa, it's her. Oh my god, Blade, and then Jenny Tatum as Gambit. <laughs> like what the hell? It's like oh, interesting. Well then, then they bring out even another person, and it was X twenty three from yeah. Logan. Logan. So yeah. that was pretty cool. And it was it was kind of nice that they like gave these characters well aside from Gambit, uh, like actual like closure because yeah. they all they all don't they don't make it. Give them some vengeance in the void. Yeah, and that that was kind of what it was like. It was like the void. <laughs> they literally had a crumbling 20th Century Fox logo. That was that really they good. like fight on. Um, yeah, and they yeah, there's a bunch of other characters too that we probably won't even get to all of them, but. From literally, yeah, the, the 20th Century Fox X-Men universe, a surprise cameo from another Fantastic Four universe. Oh, the Johnny Storm, that one? Yeah, Johnny Storm, yeah. Yeah. That was good. That was good. You even get the the car from the Fantastic Four, the Fantastic Car. Was that in there too? It was just yeah. in the background or something? Okay. When the when the villains like first show up, when Sabretooth first shows up, and it's it's the like Mad Max cars kind of circle yeah. them one of the cars yeah. is the fantastic car nice uh what other spoilers we want to talk about the um there's a bunch of deadpools at one point and uh blake lively who's married to ryan reynolds is the female deadpool and then what's supposed to be i don't know if this is true or not but there's like a toddler deadpool and like a baby deadpool and that's supposed to be their two kids it's kind of yeah cute. I, yeah, there's, I'm, I pulled up a list cause there's, there's so many, like we, we could just spend time yeah, just listing all of them. them all. It's we, we, insane too, the amount but... that they have. I do one, one that like I thought was cool that I don't think I knew in X-Men first class. Um, but he's the red devil looking guy. That, oh yeah. As, Azazel or Azazel. I don't know how to say that. I don't know. But he he is he's similar to Nightcrawler in that he he can like poof and appear in places. I only learned just recently in the X Men comics that he is Nightcrawler's biological father. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Isn't there also like a Daycrawler? In like he's, pro- he's like a he's a New Mutant or something. I that think. seems like a a bad probably, but I'm, I'm not I'm familiar pretty sure with that I read one. one of the comics and he was in it, and I was like, this is silly. And then we, we talked about this up top, but Dogpool's in it, who <laughs> apparently is literally supposed to be the world's ugliest dog. I think that's literally what this dog's yeah like, won a contest name is yeah yeah. It's this dog that like it it tongue its tongue just lives outside of its mouth. It can't yeah, like retract it. Yeah. So they yeah they talked about this on like when they hosted uh, Kimmel I think or something like that, and Ryan Reynolds said like yeah they. They were like using different things to get it to lick Ryan Reynolds's face, and one of them was like salmon paste. And he said that that was at on some like f- at like five in the morning on some freezing day, and, and let it go on for a while. Oh, I think they showed the extended or in the credits maybe or something, but yeah, it breaks Hugh Jackman after a while. He like holds it in, and then eventually starts laughing because it goes yeah. on forever. There's a dog licking your face. Dog pool is a thing in the comic books. There's a part where actually uh, a symbiote hmm. goes into dog pool, so it becomes like part venom, part dog. Cool. And that becomes Deadpool's new like friend. That was in like a recent series, I think, last year. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Well, is there anything else we want to talk about this, or should we get to our ratings? <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's just chock full of cameos. It's fun. Like yeah, I think that time. literally was the point of this movie was just to. <laughs> fit as many characters as they could yeah all right it's time for ratings ratings. 
All right, uh, I'm going to go first then. Uh, for me, I like this movie. I thought it was very good. I like Deadpool. I like Wolverine. Oh, we didn't even talk about the opening sequence, but that was my favorite part of the movie was the opening sequence where he digs up Logan's adamantium bones and beats up a bunch of TVA dudes while dancing and singing Bye Bye Bye. Oh, so good. That was the best thing. I love the that. The classic Deadpool style where like the credits are coming at you while yeah. he's in the, that happened in the other ones too. Was disappointed that the credits didn't have joke stuff in them. Uh, it was just normal oh, yeah. credits but i don't know they made up for it because it was very very funny and like ridiculous just oh my god so good i don't know the rest of it felt after a while it wasn't hitting for me as, as hard um yeah. i still really enjoyed it but they even call us out in the movie but like this multiverse stuff is like so overplayed at this point like to the point yep. where it's, it's not even like shocking anymore when like someone you don't expect shows up it's like oh that's really cool but it's not the first time this has happened, and yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna give it like a seven point five. I think I okay. I really enjoyed it, but it's not like you know top ten movie for me by any means. No, but yeah, good movie. CJ, what would you give it? For me, I'm I am happy with my decision to go see it by myself first thing on a Sunday, munch on some popcorn. Um, I was glad I decided to do that. Yeah, enjoyed it. It's really fun, like, especially as a huge nerd who's read a bunch of X-Men comics to see all those people, like, popping up and get to go, like, oh, it's a, uh, mm-hmm. this, the person from the thing. It's funny. There's, It's just chock full of fourth wall breaking. I like when movies are kind of self-aware. He even says, like, I'm telling Blake at one point, I think. Like, they acknowledge yeah. that it is Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, he mentions the movie Proposal at one point. Nice pool does. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, it's but it's not like it's not a great movie, but it is a good time. So yeah, I think a seven just it's 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 fine. It's like a fun right. time. I I don't think it's you know gonna win any awards or anything like that, but I don't think it's trying to. I think it was trying to no. be fun and it achieved that goal. Yeah, it's a fun summer event movie. Like that's that's really all it is. Uh, but it's a good time. Yeah, I like getting to watch. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman hang out in real life on all of the talk shows and stuff. <laughs> yeah. They are fun. They're a fun couple to watch hang out together. For sure. Yeah. I want to watch more of those. D- did you see the, um, the hot ones? That yes. They did? Yeah. That, I mean, that, that was that great. Was so good. There's also one, I think it's vanity affair does where they hook them up to lie detector tests. Oh, they do that a lot. And they okay, did that I've seen one before. I got to watch yeah. that one. He he hangs out with Gordon Ramsay. They're like they're they're on all of the wow, things. Full press tour. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it for the movie. CJ, what do we got? You can follow us on all the things that we're talking about. Call our Texas USA cat 1591. Go to our website over talking about that party. Email us at over talking about at gmail.com. Oh no, they're here. The over talking overlords have arrived. There are guests, other worldly landlords who show up at the end of every episode. Remind me to remind you if you like the show, please go on Apple Podcasts and Spotify and rate review where applicable. Reviews are what help you find the podcast. Also, we spend our money in advertising for like a selfish dollar friends. Spread the word of really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Also, uh, go to magicmind.com slash O V E R T A L K I N G P O D 20 and use Over Talking Pod 20 at checkout for 48% off of subscription. Uh, this is the best way to support the show, guys. So please go check That's it out. That's true. Yes. We get a kickback. Yes. Link and code are in the show notes. And as we say at the end of every single episode, a maximum effort. Bye. Bye. This episode of the Overtalking Podcast was produced by Ken and CJ, edited by CJ. This week, it was just the boys. Music by Justin Peters. Logo by Nate Richards. Check out Nate's work on Instagram at Nate Richards Designs.